I'm not sure I can answer that in terms of tone. However, I can answer that in terms of the resonant frequency of the piece of wood that you're bending, or that you're arching. And we're going to answer that now, and maybe it won't be as definitive as we'd like, but let's see. I know if we take a piece of metal and arch it up, you can hear the increase in, in pitch if you're tapping on it, right? Now, for the piece of wood, it's not quite that easy to hear. What we're going to do is we're going to do that here, and I've got a setup show you this. I've got this set up on my my handy workbench here and I've got firmly connected here and then I've got a uh, vise over here and what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten this up and we're going to arch the top and we're going to see what happens. We're going to take sound samples of this as we do it. We'll be able to see how the top arches here, or doesn't as the case may be. Now we're going to find out that it's going to want to arch either up or down, and chances are it's going to want to go down. So we may have to help it a little bit. But let's see what happens. I'm going to take sound samples. This is coming right to my little Moto Z phone, and we'll see if we can analyze that then and see what the difference in frequency is. Now I'm just going to use this thing to tap on this and we'll see what happens. I, uh, it should give us something at least on the spectrograph. So let's give this a shot see what happens. Okay so just right away we're just going to do tapping it right in the middle. Okay, now we're going to arch it up. Let's try to get it up. Okay, so that's a nice arch. Probably a little bit more than I actually do. There's two samples. Let's do one more just to see if we can ex exaggerate it. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, I, I don't arch it that much, but we just want to make a point and see does this in fact increase the resonant frequency of this piece of wood? Okay, we're going to look at the data that we got from this test. Um, first of all, here's some numbers. Now, where did we get those numbers from? Well, we got them from this graph. And we started out with this particular graph. This is the flat response. It's where the board was flat. It's held on each end. Okay, there's no sound hole on it. So this isn't really reflective of, of the piece of wood as it sits on the guitar, but it is what it is. So we're looking at this and we see we've got four major peaks right here in a row, all about the same uh, volume. So this gives us something to look at. We've also got this large peak here, which <clears throat> honestly I think is the wood tapping on the wood. Okay, it's at high frequency here. If we had a piece of felt or something, that would have disappeared. But it's there, we see it, we know what it is. So we kind of have to guess a little bit as to what's following through here. We know that our lowest peak here is this one. And that happens to be this at 141. Okay, so we see it here. It's moved over a little bit, but it's the same low peak. And so we're going to say that's that's what's happened there. This one here is either this one or this one. Not exactly sure which. It, things are kind of moving around. We're guessing this one might be the high one. I don't know. Things move around when you put some tension on here. As we add a little tension, we get to the larger arch. We're starting to see this 
particular peak losing its coherence. Okay. It doesn't seem to actually have moved much, but it's it's lost coherence. And then our largest arch, our biggest amount of tension, we've lost it. It's it's in there somewhere, probably right about there. We don't know for sure. But everything seems to have coalesced into this area here with not much going on in the low end. The high end is kind of losing it as well. You can see that progression here. These two don't look that different. They look pretty much the same. A little bit of variation, not a whole lot. We move to these. Well, now we've got some, some peaks going down a little bit lower. Shaping is different. We still have this low spot here. That carries through on these. Interestingly enough, this low spot shifts over to go higher as the tension is applied. So you can sort of see graphically what's going on here in a, in a broad sense. But what we're really interested in is the fundamental. And we're assuming that point number one here is our fundamental. It's the lowest one we can trace. And what we see is that it goes up about 20 hertz with that very first from flat to small arch. And then there's very little difference from the small arch to the large arch, about 4 hertz compared to 20 hertz. Not much difference. And then on the extreme arch, the largest arch we've got, it actually drops a little bit, but you know, it, it also is losing it in terms of volume as well. So it's kind of losing that, that fundamental. So, so that's what we're looking at. You do with it what you will. Do your own experiments. See what you come up with. That's really what this is all about, is seeing what reality is. It's kind of the important part of life is seeing what's real, separating out the fact from the fiction. Don't believe everything you're told.